Hey there, everybody. This is Kevin from Aurora's Apothecary. And Aurora. Hey, Aurora. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us. Today we want to talk about our trip to Roatan. Uh, so it's in the country of... Honduras. Ooh. It's pretty beautiful when we come rolling in. Yeah, pretty when we came in this morning. Yep. So we're on the Norwegian getaway. Uh, and 6.30, 7 o'clock this morning, we looked out the window and you could start to see mountains. Uh, we were coming into shore off the ocean. Uh, and beautiful mountains and big homes. Little houses up in the mountains. Yeah, little houses up in the mountains. I didn't realize it was so mountainy here. Uh, very beautiful. took till about 8 o'clock to get the ship parked. They give you an itinerary and they're always spot on. They're really good at that. <laughs> I don't know how they plan it out so well, but they really do. About 8 o'clock, ship's parked and that's what they told us. <clears throat> so today we had an adventure planned. Uh, sure. We're excursion. We booked ours ahead of time, right? So we went right on Norwegian and booked our whole trip. Well, it was pretty simple. There was a lot of decisions to make. But if I can do it, anyone can do it. Right? Uh, so yeah, we went on Norwegian.com and planned our whole trip there. And today we booked Big French Key. Uh, it was really beautiful there. So uh, we didn't have to leave till 10 a.m. That's what our set time was to go on our excursion, but we decided to leave the ship a little early and go do some shopping, right? That's nice. That's our first port that we really got to spend some time in. in. Yeah. yeah, we're always busy. We always pick excursions. They're first thing in the morning usually. So this 10 a.m. one was really nice. So you bought some jewelry, right? You got a beautiful necklace. Got a beautiful necklace that I wore tonight to our show. Yep. And we got our magnet. We've been trying to collect magnets everywhere we go. I know it's whatever, but we'll load up our refrigerator with magnets, <laughs> make it look a lot better, and then we can remember. Our trips. Uh, so when we got off the boat, we shopped around, looked around, and seemed to be doing some work on the port. But it was really nice. Uh, it was a nice area of friendly people. Uh, and there's uh, some restaurants there, some bars, uh, clothes shopping you can do. There was a pharmacy. Uh, and then another cool thing like our internet hasn't been working really good on the boat. Uh, and they sell you internet there. You can uh, hook to their Wi-Fi. I think we paid five dollars for an hour. Five dollars. So that was a good deal. Yep. So what'd you do with your internet? I put up one Facebook post and I checked on my kitty cats at home with our cameras. Yep. Just making sure everything at home was going good. There is internet on the ship but we can't seem to figure it out very well. So whatever. <laughs> Uh, we're not here to be on the internet. Yeah, we're, we're trying to avoid. <laughs> we're here uh, to be not on the internet. Yep. We're <laughs> on vacation. It's time to relax, right? I hope you guys do the same if you ever take this trip. Uh, so then uh, they give you a spot where you got to meet. Uh, we met our guide. His name was Steven. Uh, and he's a native to uh, Roatan, right? That's the island we were on. Uh, so he gave us a lot of history of the island. Lots of input. A lot of, uh, he was really passionate about where he's from. Uh, <clears throat> Rotan, I'm glad we were not driving. Some of the scariest <laughs> driving I've ever seen. People passing you on both sides, uh, dirt roads, half paved roads. 
the government, I guess, is building a new road. Uh, that part was nice. Luckily, if our bus would have went over, we were packed so tightly in there, we yeah. wouldn't have moved. Yeah, you didn't need to wear a seatbelt. Like, <laughs> you got to know your neighbor really well. Uh, so hopefully you're a small person and you'll fit in there just fine. I'm a big guy and I fit, so if you're a big guy or lady, don't worry about that. It was about a 40 minute trip? 40 minute from the port completely till we were off you know we stood in line a little bit got on the bus it was nice to see the countryside to see real uh... yeah you didn't get to see the touristy area you got to see how these people are living He explained a lot of it to us. They have their own airport here. There was a shipwreck. You can look that up, I guess. It was a, a bad shipwreck about 30 years ago. The, the carcass of the ship is still sitting there, so that was pretty cool. One shipping company and they ship everything into the island and they don't produce anything at this yeah, island. They don't produce nothing here. Their only uh, means of income is the tourist. tourist dollars. So make a trip down here. Spend some of your money. <laughs> They're really good people. Just to last stop, we had to get on a little pontoon boat and go about five minutes across this bay over to... French Key, which is amazing. I've never been. It's like paradise. It really yeah. is. Yeah, when you think of like paradise, tropical island. This is it. it. Yeah, yeah, sandy white beach, uh, little huts everywhere. Huts uh, out in the water. Yeah. You swim to have shade. Put your drinks on. Yeah, it's like a little table. You can set your drink on there and swim around. We did a little bit of snorkeling. What are we doing? Ooh, we're at Big French Key. And then we laid in like a hammock. You get to lay in a hammock for a good 45 minutes or so. Hammocks. Yeah, there's animals running around on the island. Apparently iguanas. We didn't see those, but we saw a couple rabbits. Some quail, lots of quail running around. fed us there so that was included in our package free lunch yep free lunch uh, we got a massage there one dollar per minute and the lady did a really good job uh, worked on both of us mm -hmm. we gave her a tip mm -hmm. uh, I guess tip everybody you know they don't make a lot of money here so, uh, <clears throat> so lunch was good we had some fish and chicken and it was supposed to be like the basics of what they eat here yep like a good yeah and they do have a restaurant if you don't like that uh, I've seen yeah, other people, people eating cheeseburgers and stuff like that so you could get that if 
if you don't want to try the native food, but we tried it and it was really good. They give you free drinks. To, we each got two free drinks plus a free like fruit punch thing when we first yeah, got... Yeah, they give you a welcome drink when you come yeah, in. Yeah, first really welcome good. drink. Super good. They give you a little tour of the island and then you get a choice of two different excursions yeah so you can go with them or with you can a, do whatever you want yep a guided snorkeling that they do further out in the water you could do that uh i don't remember what the other one was I think it was a boat trip around oh a boat trip around to look at the island and some so of the there's other there's two islands there there's big french key and little french key and they're completely separate Yep. And they're they're separated by a lagoon and that's where everyone swims. Swims in the lagoon in between them. So you can make it across there to the <laughs> other island. It's not that far. And the lagoon was amazing. Like yeah. uh, the water uh, like I said I don't I don't like cold water. I'm not big on it and like <laughs> Every time I walked in a little bit farther, I just adapted to it right away. And when I was snorkeling around in the shallows, like some of the shallow water, there were pieces that were really hot, like really you were hot, in a hot like tub. Like a hot tub, yeah. Yep. So it was really cool. And then, uh, the whole island's kind of surrounded by coral, so we got to go look at some coral. A bunch of fish underwater and they have some stuff they must have planted in there but there was like a, a Mayan statue that you can see if you're snorkeling around and a, a couple other things it was pretty cool all sorts of cool things the big hands sticking out of the water oh, yeah, they you got go these, sit in the hand yeah this big giant hand that you could sit in and you'd be <laughs> sitting half in the water and half and not chair. they got like a, a shipwreck sitting there that you could, could explore pretty cool and our, our guide was super nice young guy Steven we got to talk to him quite a bit um, everybody on that island was nice uh, so we were there from uh, four, hours. four hours we were there and definitely not enough time I wish we could just we we're trying to talk him into leaving us there but they wouldn't <clears throat> uh, so then we took our little pontoon boat ride back across and got back on the bus and he explain some more stuff about our surroundings that we were seeing uh, <clears throat> yeah the driving is I don't know it's crazy <laughs> there was two ladies in the back of a pickup truck sitting on the ledge of the bed just hanging on hanging on to a suitcase, <laughs> With their suitcase and we're bombing down this road doing 50 miles an hour and up and down the mountains up and down mountains non-paved paved it was crazy I don't know how they sticks were hitting them and they were just so, smiling and like whatever yeah, our bus was following them so we got to watch them the whole way just like hanging out of the back of this truck open air with their, all their suitcases yep. i've never seen anything like that. hopefully that wasn't anybody on our tour i don't know <laughs> I don't they did so. take two people off of our bus and yep Put them on a smaller put them bus. somewhere else. Yeah, we were worried that it was them, but it wasn't. Uh, and those two people showed up. Yep, yep. And they had a fun time. Um, so then when we got back to the port, uh, we we headed right back to the ship. We could have stayed in the okay. port area, yep. but we already did our shopping. We saw what we wanted to see there. Uh, so we got back on the ship. Tonight we went out for dinner at... That taste, taste yeah. the blue room uh, and I had a ribeye steak or a New York strip and you had some linguine right oh I had um, 
fettuccine alfredo. Oh, fettuccine alfredo. With some squid. With some With some squid, yeah. So we, uh, you get an appetizer, your main course, a dessert. It's a really good restaurant. After that, we went to go see Burn the Floor. It was amazing. So Burn the Floor is a um, is a Broadway show. Um, is Broadway quality. The dancers were amazing. I've never seen humans move so fast. <laughs> there was how many With people on other, stage? I would say there were ten, ten dancers and then two singers. Two singers, two and drummers. Then the band, yeah. Uh, amazing, and the we, set was really cool. They did not miss a beat. I mean. I thought you were the most amazing dancer ever, darling, but... <laughs> I got nothing uh, on that. Wow. Hey? <laughs> wow. Uh, just powerful dancing. Yeah, so Burn the Floor is, um, it's a lot of Latin dancing, and it's super fast. Um, amazing couple dancing, they're throwing the ladies around and holding on to them by their ankles. <laughs> it was crazy. Amazing costumes. Oh yeah, and the costume changes were quick. Quick, yeah, they must have like a whole crew behind stage changing their clothes like a, a <laughs> seconds. They would be back out in a completely different outfit. Yeah. I'd like to see the whole operation of it. And I think the show was, I would say, 40, 45 minutes, you think? 45 minutes. Like, I don't was... know how they remembered all these dance moves. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, in the, in the Norwegian getaway, we were in the... What's the big room called that we were in? That's I think the, they call it the box office. The box office. Yeah, so it's a big... So it's a theater. Big it's theater. Theater seating, and then the big stage, um, curtains. People you think fit in there? A thousand? couple hundred. Oh, a couple hundred? That's it? Oh, oh well, ten. Yeah, there's, <laughs> it was Maybe pretty Maybe a big. thousand people can fit in there? <laughs> I don't know, it was crazy. So, yeah, we'll get back to you again later. And then tomorrow night, no, oh, tomorrow they're, night, they're doing um, tomorrow night is Latin night on the cruise. Ooh, on the cruise, Latin night. There's a Latin dance at night in Spice Nightclub, and then before that, they're having the cast from Burn the Floor come teach you how to dance. So <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna we go, might do that. Yeah, maybe you'll see some <laughs> video of us. How tired we are. Definitely, I'm gonna show them up. It'll be fun. I'm all belly, no dance. It's okay. I'll just like pff, knock one of them over. It'll be me. Yeah, you. Yeah. Hope I don't break an ankle or something trying to do this because they were. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, to the other side. Very fast. A big challenge. Five, six, 